a piece of the past has been torn down to make way for the future. What had been the oldest house in Naperville on the corner of Franklin and West is now a development site for two new houses. The home was built in 1833 by Captain John Stevens, who is believed to have sailed here with Joseph Naper, the founder of Naperville. Though the original center portion of the house was still standing, the rest of it had been altered many times. Bring it back to any particular time period would be quite cost prohibitive. And um, if the family's not interested in preserving, then it's, it's hard for a government body or a private outside body to come in and, and try to preserve it. Although the house was demolished, some family materials were preserved at neighbor settlement. On the northeast side of town, another aging structure is awaiting its fate. The 19th century farmhouse was once home to many Naperville notables. Built by Jacob Snibley in 1852, it was then sold to Nicholas Stanger, whose family brewed beer there until the late 1800s. Oleson Drive namesake Peter Oleson then took ownership in 1904 for his growing dairy, which was operational until the late 60s. But now a proposal has been put forward to the city council to tear the 0.6 acre limestone structure down and build new homes in its place. That was put on hold until the Naperville Park District and Naper Settlement had a chance to look over the site and decide whether it's worth purchasing and preserving. Though the Park District did a tour and decided against salvaging the site, Naper Settlement has yet to make their decision.